<coughs> Hello. <coughs> How are you, everyone? It is our inner peace time again this week. I hope you have a good time practice meditation together by yourself or with your friends who are interested in meditation just like you do. However, once a week we join together again to do our special activity to start our inner peace, finding ourselves inner peace before we begin our new week. So everyone, before we start our meditation, let's do our routine roll call by telling us your name, your local time, and the place where you watch this broadcasting from. For those who are new, don't worry, you will be catching up very soon. Since our practice in meditation is quite simple for newcomer to practice, doing so by focusing your mind inside yourself at the place called center of the body, just like on the diagram I'm showing you. And for your information, <clears throat> middle way meditation, this is the name that you practice, the center of the body is located around your abdomen or your stomach inside yourself. And this is where we are going to focus. However, when we focus, we don't use our eyes, we use our feeling. Something like you are feeling your stomach, like you are hungry or when you have lunch that your stomach is very full. This is what you are using your feeling through. And so everyone, this is where we're gonna focus in our mind. And by maintain our focus, the middle way meditation using two method. You imagine an object that is easy for you to visualize. At the same time, you receive the mantra. And let's check who is um, joining us too. You use the mantra, <clears throat> before I forgot, forgot. <laughs> mantra that we are using is called Samma Araham. Samma Araham. Repeat like this in your mind to calm yourself and help you focus, clear yourself from the thought during meditation. And so, doing like this, this is what we did practice. This is just only the introduction, just enough for you to get by. However, for more detail, you can also watch on our YouTube channel the video collection that I had made, or you can just listen to the guided meditation that I'm about to guide during our meditation together. And so, before I go any further, I need to check what is my feedback. For example, can you hear me clearly? If you can, please leave the comment, let me know. Also, welcome Miss. Um, those who are new, let's see, Miss Daisy, haven't seen you before. Welcome everyone who are joining our New Peace Live. And also, thank you Miss April for joining us. Hope it's good in Japan. If I have a chance, I will make sure, let you know when I go there. Maybe we can have a session together when we have a chance to meet in Japan. Also, Mr. Allen, nice to see you. Well. Let's have our meditation good time tonight. Oh, maybe today on your time. And who else? Hello, Miss Diane. And Miss, uh, Mr. Jen, uh, Miss Janice, good to see you too. What about our, uh, our Lekula? Where is Mr. Shi? Hmm. Hopefully he should join us soon. Uh, otherwise, he may be in Thailand already, making himself ready for the Buddhist ordination. Who knows? And also, Hello, Miss Stacy. Oh, you're from New York? Good to see you. Well, I hope we have a good time together. Meditation. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, leave the comment. When I get to you, when I see it, I will get back to you on the video or reply after the session. Either way, please make yourself ready for the meditation by doing these three things. First of all, if you are going to call someone, you can do that now by making that call and finish it out as soon as you can or turn off your mobile phone so that way it won't disturb during our peaceful time together tonight or today according to your time. Also, for those who are <clears throat> about to start making meditation, 
make sure your environment are very peaceful and quiet so that way it won't disturb our session and last but not least if you need to use restroom do it now I will still have time I'll give you two minutes while waiting for the other to join us as well either way I hope we're gonna have a good time together <coughs> loud and clear thank you Diane okay everyone ready well it seems we should start very soon for those who are about to use bathroom you do it now and we will come back and resume okay now <coughs> as for your information next uh what's it called uh what's it called okay yes this week in america is independence day i should say this too happy independence day everyone i'm an i'm an american too so yes enjoy our freedom independent in independence so therefore let's celebrate our independence by fighting ourselves in a peace together today well it seems it's about time now i should start if those who are new for those who are just join after our session don't forget to telling us your name your local time and the place where you watch this broadcasting from so i can keep the record who joining us tonight and maybe we can get together on our live meditation again or uh, leaving or sharing some information later anyway everyone let's begin our meditation <coughs> Close your eyes, relax your mind and body, adjusting yourself, sitting in a relaxed and comfortable position where you won't feel any tension on your body relax really truly begin from the top of your head <coughs> relax down to your forehead Relax your eyebrows, loose your eyelids, don't squeeze your eyes or try using your eyes during the meditation. Relax all the muscles on your face relax down to your neck and your shoulder adjusting your back properly free from all the tension you might have Relax both of your arms all the way down to your hands. Relax further down to your legs, your knees, and all the way to your feet completely. making your whole body feeling most comfortable during the meditation spend this few moments adjusting your body then moving on to adjust your mind 
Empty your mind, putting down everything aside for this moment. The time for yourself, the time for your mind, and the time for the meditation. Begin by take a deep breath. Slowly breathing it out. Clear your thoughts and worry at the same time while you breathing it out. So adjusting your mind by take a deep breath a few more times. Then imagine that yourself is alone in this place, in a place that you like to be by yourself without anyone to disturb or bother you, a place for your own, make you feel light, refreshed, relaxed and comfortable by just sitting there or alone. Then allow your mind to come back to your body slowly and gently. Allow the mind to be free, light, relaxed, and comfortable. So rest your mind softly and gently inside yourself at the center of your body around your abdomen. Observe the mind within your body peacefully. Should the thought arise, don't worry. Let it go, let it end without following your thought. Or you may apply the mantra. Repeat the mantra in your mind slowly and softly at your own pace. Maintain relaxation, both body and mind. Repeat the mantra over and over to calm your mind and drive away the thoughts that may arise during the meditation. And the mantra is Samma Araham Samma Araham Samma Araham Continue the mantra At the same time Observe the sun peacefully At the center 
of your body. Convince yourself that you are an observer. No matter what change to the sun, keep on observing. Relax both body and mind at the same time. So let's take our time finding ourselves in a peace for a little while until the appropriate time.
Inside yourself, feel the peace within your mind and within your body. Let the peace expand over your mind and the body. Sharing this peace with the people that you love and care for. May this feeling, the feeling of peace that you find in this meditation, expand and share with all the people that you love and care for. Expand and share in this peace further and further. Let the whole town, the whole country, and the whole world be with peace like you have found in your meditation. Let the peace expanding further with no boundary spread, expand as far as you can. May the whole world and all the people, all the beings, love one and care for another. May the peace touch their mind, fill their heart. Let's share our peace, share our kindness, love with all the people and all the beings for a little while.
take a deep breath slowly breathing it out feel the center of your body feel the peace feel your mind stay still inside yourself maintain relaxation both body and mind stay at the center as long as you can Then slowly and gently open your eyes. Welcome back, everyone. How are you feeling? I hope you enjoy finding yourself in a peace together today or tonight according to your time. For those who just recently joined, don't worry. You can always watch the rerun which I will leave. It's on the Facebook page and also we will post later on after um, the page has, um, the, the, the live is over. We will leave on YouTube later. And those who are new, please don't forget to leave telling us your name, your local time, and the place where you watch this from. That would be appreciated, and I get to know you. For those who are new, also please don't leave just yet. We still have the wisdom to share, which won't take much time from now. Either way, please allow me to check your meditation experience, so that way I can help and improve better. For those who are new, you can also share with us by leaving the comment as well. So let's check. Ah, Mr. Shi, you know what you, what you need to do very much. <laughs> well, thank you. For those who are new, leave the comment by... For those who are feeling relaxation, leave the comment as one. For those who are feeling like their body is disappear, or light, refreshed, and also you feel like you are there, but your body not really there, leave the comment as two. For those who experience inner light or brightness, leave the comment as three. For those who experience anything else beyond what I mentioned, you may leave the comment as four and explain. When I see it, I will get back to you whenever I can. Either way, as our life must go on, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, up and down, just like our day, come and go like that. So therefore, it is useless for us to stay in the same situation for a long time. I was like that too. Sometimes I was like that. Sometimes I'm not. On and off, still. Once we realize, we can set our mind, letting go of those past. Stay with the present, keeping your mind at the center. Therefore, what you do in the present will be a result in the future. What has you done in the past will be the fruit of your present. Either way. Now, if you understand this, it is useless to thinking of the past nor the future. But it's best to stay with the present. Now, let's check who or how is meditation experience progress. Mr. Go, Mr. Daniel, congratulations, that's two. Well, you should be in an ordination very soon. So, well, I'll just send you off and have a good time, okay? Now, Mr. Kuma, Mr. Go, Miss Janice, very great, and Miss April. Wow, that's really good, in the brightness. Well, seems so far, everyone doing so fine. Anyone else that I skip or missing? Hopefully, if you like to share, but you feel shy, don't mind. You can send directly a message, and I'll get back to you maybe a little bit slower, since it's not live and it's not on our Facebook at the moment 
However, sharing is great. When I get to know you, maybe I can suggest you further. However, as you may see, the base of meditation, especially the middle way meditation, is maintain your relaxation. If you can find yourself, be able to relax both body and mind. Thus, you will find yourself progress in meditation quicker and easier. Some people attain brightness. Some people attain body disappear meditation experience. These are the result of once the body and mind become still, it will progress in this way. The longer you maintain your mindfulness, the better stay still you are. And also, the brightness will come when the mind and body become still. The longer, the brighter it gets. And so everyone, hopefully you can maintain your peace. Either way, in order to maintain your peace, you but have a completely rest. When you have a good rest, you tend to have a good mood. Just like when you have enough food, feel your stomach very full. In the end, you are very happy because you are satisfied your hunger and your body become content. Your mind are happy, no more hunger. Same way with meditation. If ourselves are happy, relaxed and comfortable, it should be easier to maintain this focus. But this depends on the practice of how often you maintain your mind to be able to still. Either way, don't forget or neglect this, this practice. And the best time, like I always mention, before you go to bed and right after you wake up. Try this and you will have a good mood a whole day maybe. Either way, all in all, it is good if you practice every day. But don't forget though, every time you med meditate, always observe yourself. See the progress, okay? Well, uh, well some people, Miss April asks about the mantra, Samma Arahang. It comes from two words. Samma is mean purity. Arahang is mean freedom. Combine these two terms is mean the path to purity and freedom of the mind. With this, it will allow your mind to stay still and free from the thoughts. That's the mantra our master used since when he was young, and thus pass it on into me and my other friends in our temple many, many years now, more, uh, more than 100 years, that's for sure. Either way, now, as for our meditation tonight, the wisdom that I like to share, egg, carrot, and coffee bean. It may be sound similar to last week's wisdom. Well, it could. However, let's take a look at this perspective either way. We know what the egg looks like. Let's take a look at the egg first. Egg, carrot, and coffee bean. Well, who likes egg? I do. I like egg. What about carrot? Mm, maybe not that much, but still eatable. What about coffee? I don't touch coffee because one time when I, had, when I was in college, I couldn't sleep a whole night because I'm studying on for the exam, the final. In the end, I drink one coffee in order, I think Starbucks. Anyway, and before I go to take exam on that morning, I didn't sleep, you know, so I'm afraid that I'm gonna sleep over during my exam. So I drink my coffee, Starbucks. What's the result is after the exam? Oh, I stayed up, up all night, another night. No longer touched the coffee again. <laughs> That's my experience with the coffee. Either way, what is it about that I like to share with you? These two things, I mean these three things, they may look different from the outside. But what would happen when we take experiment by heating them, pouring them into water? As for the egg, I guess you can already figure it out what they're gonna be once they become boiled. As for the egg, it become hard, right? For the carrot, it may be soft. What about coffee? Smells so good, right? Coffee bean making you have a very good smell of the coffee. All of these are different, but 
once they become steam or boil, they become changing its condition. Just like ourselves, everyone, when we undergo the training, whether it's difficult time or very, very hard time, oh, it's the same thing, right? Good time or difficult time. That's, it will change the way our life as well. If we are always happy all the time, we may be never dif uh, facing difficult time in our life. That's we could never change. Same thing with this egg. I mean egg, carrot, and coffee bean. All of this, when it go under difficult time, it's change its condition. It's change its property completely. As for the egg, it's changed into heart. Carrot into softer. Coffee bean smell good. What does it imply when it's compared with our life? Egg, it may be it may be soft, but when it's changed over hard time, uh, when it's got boiled, it's become hard, not good. When people who is very humble, but when they change, they become very very stubborn, hard, difficult to adjust. In this case, not good. Those who are stubborn, difficult to change as time goes, or because of the bad experience, in the end, what they're gonna face is difficult to change. They will have difficult time to move on. What about a carrot? Yes, it's become totally wet and soft. Not good either. Just like when you are having good time in your life, but when facing one time difficulty in life, cannot go on at all, totally broke down. Not good either if we train ourselves to be just like a carrot. But what about a coffee? It may be hard. Nobody likes to taste or eat it because it's so hard. But when it undergoes uh, the good, uh, difficult time in their life, they change. They be able to withstand all kind of obstacle, making themselves be fruitful from what they learn from hard experience, attract many good things, good people into their life, thus make themselves become success. Just like this, everyone, our life always up and down. How can we perceive and make ourselves become what we are? Whether it's gonna be egg, carrot, or coffee bean, choose which one do you like to be? In the end, that is what you are going to be, what you choose. But remember this, if you become an egg, cannot, use, cannot be fruitful, useful at all. What about carrot? It's too soft, maybe very broke down, too fast. But coffee, smell very good and drink tasty as well. So choose what you want to be, but along the way, What's transferring your mind, making yourself become better, is training the mind, and that is through meditation. Practice it every day. It won't waste your money, only the time, but the result you're gonna get from it, very much fruitful in your life. So if you like it very much, don't forget to meditate and don't skip any single day. Well, I hope you have a good time, good weekend, I mean good week together. Let's see each other again on next week in a peace Sunday. The, t the time and the place is the same, where you can always find our inner peace together. If you like, don't forget to like and share and follow our page. Sharing is great, don't keep it to yourself. See you again.